Hey guys, back here with another episode of The Daily Dobby, and today we will be talking about something that could possibly be concerned with Harry Potter Wizards Unite and make sure that it is coming out soon. So, let's get right into it. So, said Niantic is holding a special AR event called Innovation Tokyo 2018 AR Playground with Niantic at Ro Ropangai Hillis from October 12th to October 21st. The event is sponsored by Mori Building Company, a young development company that features innovators from across Japan. Visitors can live through a few can live through few special AR experiences created by Niantic and event partners. The experiences are special as they feature new technologies and sound interaction. So, said Dr. Willow received a request to collect traces of Pokemon hidden in the Mori Garden, which for the first time includes a sound experience available for trainers with special headphones. The headphones allow listening to both natural sounds of Mori Gardens and to Pokemon cries in the wild. At the garden, Pokemon are expected to be appearing in realistic fashion, moving and hiding in actual real-world objects, bushes, and plants. This experience is powered by new developments in Niantic's AR platform, which was recently featured in this video. And I'll show the video in a moment. I'll, actually, I'll show the video right now. So, watch this, and then we'll talk about it. Hey, okay. um, so as you can see in that video, Niantic has created this AR platform called the Niantic AR Real World Platform, and it is an immersive new form of AR where you can see the creatures or Pokemon running around you and running behind objects and things. So before they have never had this type of AR technology where you can actually see the creatures interacting with things around you. So this could be a big thing for Harry Potter Wizards Unite because you'll be able to see the creatures running around and you may be able to interact with them and stuff. So the thing that is most interesting about this is that at October 12th to the 21st, they are having a basically a demo of this AR system in these uh, Japanese gardens, which means that Harry Potter Wizards Unite could be coming very soon because this would be basically their test phase for the technology that's going into making it. So we may see the game very, very soon, which would be very nice, maybe in time for the new movie, The Crimes of Grindelwald. And you can watch our trailer review down here. So according to Pokemon Go Hub here, it is saying that there will be another experience taking place in the Mori Gardens, and it's focused on climbing. There is no elevator in the gardens, and in order to find a secret gem in the garden, you have to climb an infinite staircase. The experience is as weird as it sounds, and it's powered by spatial perception, which makes it feel like you're climbing stairs while actually walking on a flat surface. That's going to be weird. That would feel very odd, but cool. We don't know what the reward is or how high the gym actually is, but we know that the whole thing is dubbed Adventures on Foot. And the event partners with Niantic are Rhizomatics Co. Ltd. M, 
Pokemon Company Ltd. Hiros Tanagawa Naromi Laboratory of Tokyo University. T and S SoftBank Corporation, Ambi Corporation, Lenovo Japan Company Ltd. And if I pronounced any of those names, I mispronounced any of those names. I am very, very sorry. I did not mean to do that. They're just some of them are Japanese words, and I am not a speaker of Japanese. So I don't know how to say it. Another thing that's interesting about this is that they, it says not only will they have the AR experience, but there will also be a sound experience with headphones. So I'm, I'm wondering what the sound experience will be. It'll be, you'll be able to hear noises from the garden, it says, and you'll be able to hear Pokemon rustling around. So this could be a really immersive new technology that they could be showing here that would be amazing for Harry Potter Wizards Unite. Because why wouldn't you just want to walk around in the woods and hear the bushes rustling and see like a basilisk slither out of the bushes and kill you instantly? No, um, you like you'd want it like you'd hear a cr a what sound would a hippogriff make a caw cawing noise? Ah, I guess, but um, like hear the noise of a hippogriff and see it flying towards you having to deflect it with spells or catch it, capture. And how cool it would be to actually have your magical creatures that you've caught following behind you or maybe like having a suitcase that you can go walk into like Newt's Commander. That would be that would be really amazing. I don't know if they can do that with their technology, but that'd be really cool. But anyway, Niantic is doing a huge thing here in creating this new technology and I really hope that it goes well. I really hope that they do really nicely with it because it would be a huge new development for AR video games. They would soar, not that they haven't done already, they would soar past all the other AR games on the App Store, on the iTunes Store. They would just surp far surpass all of them and they and they basically already have. They're, they're a pretty big game. So guys, now I just kind of want to talk about the videos that are going to be coming out for our channel in the coming weeks. And so we're hoping to have a video up every Wednesday for Happy Wizarding Wednesday and perhaps Sundays. We're, we kind of stopped doing the Sunday posting thing and started doing the Wednesdays because it's easier on us. And so... Lined up for the next few videos, we are really hoping for Halloween to do a big video and we are thinking maybe along this point that we will do a Halloween feast and we will cook uh, Harry Potter goodies and butterbeer and such and we might even take a stop at our local cafe because they are now serving butterbeer so we might need to go check that out. But yeah, so we'll... We'll cook some stuff and then we'll do a review and see how good they are. Uh, we're also thinking about sometime going around town and just asking maybe Pokemon Go players if they're going to be playing the new game, Harry Potter Wizards Unite. Or maybe just asking different people how they feel about Harry Potter, if they like Harry Potter, and uh, try to bring them into the channel. So we might make little like place cards or something for that. Make little DIY wands and hand them out to people. I think that would be pretty cool. But um, they... We've got a really big thing planned, and that is a real-life Harry Potter Triwizard Tournament. And that would be me and Keaton versus each other, perhaps other people. And we would make it like a, basically a giant game board with foam dice and everything. And whoever got to the Triwizard Cup the quickest would win. And so we're kind of talking about that, kind of getting it, seeing what we're going to do with it. And if that goes successful, then we will do a follow-up with that called the Horcrux Hunt, where we will have to find different Horcruxes and destroy them. For And whoever destroys them in time wins all of them. And But we're really hoping that the game is out soon. So we're hoping it comes out directly after the release of The Crimes of Grindelwald, which we will see, and we will do a video of a review for that movie, talking about it, what was our favorite stuff about it, but do not watch that if you have not seen it, because that would be spoilers, and no one likes a spoiler. 
So we just really, we really want to keep working towards making our channel bigger. We want to keep making it stronger, uh, build up our community of Harry Potter fans, and just kind of keep working towards that goal of when the game comes out, we'll actually have information for a lot of people to look at and know what to do. And we are rural. We are we live in a rural community, a small town. And so the game will be kind of hard for us to participate in because just like Pokemon Go, we're assuming that it will be more it will be easier to play if you're in a larger city with more people to do raids and such. But we're going to hopefully show people that it's you can still have fun with playing a playing in a rural community, playing with a few amount of people, and you can still make the best of the game. You can still enjoy it, just like people in larger cities do. And sometimes it's even a closer community, and the because our Pokemon Go community and our town is pretty expansive, and we all we all know each other by a first name basis, and we go around and talk with each other. It's it's just a, we have a really great time going around and playing with each other. So. So like I was saying, as for our next video, we're hoping to have a feast of sorts, and we'll probably have one video up making the food, and then another video reviewing the food on Halloween, eating it, maybe doing some other Harry Potter themed stuff. I'm trying to make a Dementor costume, or perhaps a Death Eater costume, and see if we can spook some people. So um, what we're hoping to be making is pumpkin pasties. Uh, shepherd's pie, butterbeer, of course, you can't, you can't live without butterbeer. And we have an official Harry Potter cookbook, but the thing about it is there's hippogriff stew in there, which I would love to make, but it requires ostrich meat, and I don't think chicken is a good substitute for ostrich meat, so we might not do that one. But there's many, many other treats that we could try. We could even make it's a wizarding, wizarding recipe thing, so we could even make stuff from Narnia and stuff if we really wanted to, if, if you guys would like to see that, or if you don't want to just see us cramming our faces full of food, that's, that's okay too, because it'll be a little weird. So, uh, we're hoping to kind of just get going, and we'll be working on, like, this Triwizard Tournament thing for a while, and probably won't have a video up of it for a long time. But we're hoping to have, like, I'm going to probably post a video of decorations and stuff that I'm making for it. And I'm hoping, really hoping to take little Nerf guns and turn them into wands that shoot Nerf darts. Because that would be really cool and we could do some kind of target, target practice stuff. Maybe shoot some Dementors. So, I think that's it for today's video. So, goodbye guys. Please tune in next time.